Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So I'm with you with your weekly oracle card guidance and this week I'm using the Queen of the Moon oracle card deck and now my daughter has raided the local paint shop uh, for all these different colors and so once again I am using the same um, colors as I did in uh, not the last week's reading because there wasn't one, one but the week before that and I just want to take this opportunity to quickly thank you all for all your well wishes that I've received on the channel in the last couple of weeks I really do appreciate them very much so once again we're working with the Queen of the Moon Oracle here and um, we have with us um, the option number one which is deep blue the option number two which is denim blue and the option number three, uh, which is Oleander Rose. I'm not sure if you can really see that so well in this light, uh, but it's a pinkish color. So yeah, go ahead, make your selection, and you can go down to your time to the timestamp uh, below to your reading. Okay, so for those of you who are who've chosen the first option num here, the option number one, which is deep blue, I'm just going to spread the cards out like this today, and I am going to. Uh, do my best to be able to feel the cards and to be able to just take them from uh, from here. So um, yes, let me just try to push this out in this way and adjust the light here as well. Ah, oh, there you can see that a bit better now. So yeah, so there you go. Um, I'm going to feel the card for you, feel what's right for you, and. Yeah, and this feels right. Let's just see what this is. Okay, and this is the card that we're going to go with. It reads Nourishment, and it's the number seven. So for those of you who've chosen the option number one, it's the, the color is deep blue, and the card is Nourishment. And uh, we have the waxing crescent here, and the number of the card is the number seven. And I feel that as we experience this um, this energy, as we go through this energy right now, what we need to be working with is the energy of that which is growing, that which is abundance, and that which is drawing in things. I feel also that here we have an, a, like a showering of blessings. This time is of a showering of blessings and abundance. So see where it is in your life that you have a lot of something or an abundance of something or where you feel abundant about something even though it's not a lot and look at where you can appreciate that i feel also here that it's not just abundance which is littering our life right now but also that this abundance is as um emphasized when you give when you're giving something when you're doing some some kind of service so um if you are not feeling the abundance in your life if you're feeling that you don't have as much as you need then perhaps give something uh give some of your time give something that you have uh that you value to others that you're happy to give to others not something that you would be resentful um to let go of of course but something that you have that could be of value to others and um that uh you are happy to part with so there is this energy here of being able to give and 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 take but to be able to receive uh, tenfold for what you give, there's also this energy that you have the blessings of all of the energy around you right now. And that is something that you can really appreciate and something that you can really work with to be able to make your life as comfortable as you need it to be. There's also the sense that as we come into the next weeks, that there is joy that there is um, a going inward to be able to appreciate the simplicity of life so the little things become important time with loved ones uh, time um, doing something that you enjoy doing perhaps things like handicrafts or um, beautiful smells or uh, beautiful music can uh, punctuate your life in a beautiful manner and actually just uh, lend more um, abundance to your life in in that particular way there's a particular significance given here to the waxing crescent. So we have a full moon by the time that uh, this video is going to be uploaded. And it's talking about energies that are growing, energies that are waxing, energies that are where you can grow something. So look at what it is that you have to do 
uh, projects perhaps that are incomplete, projects perhaps that need to move into the next phase of development and work on that at this moment. Don't begin anything new uh, right now and uh, now is not the time for it, but rather bring uh, projects to its end, bring projects to fruition or work on developing something so it gets to the next phase of its development. And that is what, what this message is also talking about here. It's talking basically also about just sitting down and allowing yourself to be showered with all the goodness that's coming your way, allowing all the abundance to come your way. Now, if you are feeling um, a bit cynical at this time and if you're feeling quite critical of this message and you're wondering, what am I talking about? Because you, you don't feel that there is such abundance in your life, then I would say just look at the fact that you, know, you have... Um, the functioning of your body, that you're still able to breathe, um, hopefully without difficulty, and and look at the the abundances that we have in our life that we can't uh, that we continue to take for granted. Now I know that sounds like quite a trite message, but w bear with me. That really does work. Uh, try it out. Make a list of things that you feel grateful for, and what it will do is it will activate that energy of abundance in your life and activate more gratitude. And before you know it, what you will be doing is feeling more and more thankful for all the little things that you have in your life, and you will find that more abundance comes your way, more prosperity enters your life. So do do uh, try that, and at least um, try to get your mind to think in that way where you're feeling more thankful for what it is that you have rather than feeling um, more critical or more upset about what what it is that you have. So I would say that that is my message for you uh, for the week. Um, allow the blessings to come forth in your life. Allow the abundance uh, to, to enter your life. Partake of the abundance that is within your reach but is not necessarily in your life right now. So make an effort to work towards that, um, something that's within your reach, something that you can see that's almost within your reach, that you just need to finish something, bring something to cl closure, bring something to an end, and look also at how it is that you can create new abundance in your life in the future, but don't necessarily take action on that right now. So that is my advice to you for, the, for this week, and I wish you all much love, many blessings, stay safe and healthy. Lots of love to you. And for those of you who've chosen denim blue here, uh, we are just going to spread the cards out today, uh, like the way I'm doing it here, and I'm going to try and feel uh, what is the right card for you. What is the card that I need to choose for you today? I'm just going to take a moment to feel what is the correct card for you. What if you come here to here today? Uh, I seem to have found it right here. Oh no, it's not the right card. Okay, let's just see. And it feels like this one right here. Let me just pull that out first. And the card we have is discernment. So the card here is discernment, and it's the number 10 for those of you who've chosen the second option here, which is denim um, blue. So um, what I see from this card here is that it is a time in which there may be quite quite a lot of confusion, or there may be quite a lot an uh, explosion of ideas. It might be that there are various different factors influencing how you think about the world at this moment and how you feel about yourself in regard to this, this time. The advice here is to be discerning, but to be discerning as in to focus on what is your heart energy giving to you? What is the energy that's coming from within you that's talking about how you should move forward? So what is your heart energy advising you to do? And to put aside what the, the thoughts are, to put aside the rational uh, motivations, to put aside what the evidence-based information is, but rather to actually just focus on um, on what it is that you feel is the right thing. Now, there are many different uh, entities around you and a, an explosion of information around you, but this is saying really go inward to feel what is right because this information can actually work against you and it can actually 
uh, work to disempower you on some level. So try to work um, go inward and rather work on uh, identify what it is that your heart's telling you what is it that your own energy is telling you which direction should you proceed as far as your own energy is concerned and this is what's going to give you the strength uh, to keep buoyant and to keep moving on whereas um, if you keep on taking in outside based information uh, and not to referring to your own intuition what might happen is that you may become depleted over some time or you might find that it's becoming a bit overwhelming for you and it's a bit too much for you to bear and a bit too much to deal with. I also want to say that this energy is quite prevalent over the time of the waning moon. So we come into full moon by the time this video is uploaded and it's for the next two weeks after that. So especially in the first week after this we this uh, video is uploaded. Uh, if you're coming to this video at another time, then uh, look at when your moon is waning uh, shortly after the full moon. So the first week after the full moon and uh, this energy is prevalent at this time. So it might be a bit of a scattered energy it might be a time where you really need to uh, not think about what others think so much as and just go inward and think about what is your feeling about this. This card, I feel it also talks about um, seeking traditional values to determine what you think about a situation. So um, you may refer to the way you were raised. You may refer to the way in which you, the values to uh, with which you were raised and how that uh, um, responds to a current situation. There is where you might be able to find the help that you need to be able to continue and how you may be able to continue at this time. So the advice here is to be really discerning, to be cautious as you go along in the week. Do not allow yourself to become overwhelmed with anything in particular. And when in doubt, refer to your own wisdom, refer to your own intuition. Go inward and find the answer there rather than looking outward for answers. Uh, this is a time in which quite a lot of confusion can prevail and it's important to look inward. There are also more than one truth out there, uh, truths out there. There's more than one reality. There's more than one um, kind of system of thinking that's out there. And I see that uh, the from these spheres that are in orbit. And I would say that while there is an overwhelming majority of thought um, that is um, what's informing your decision making, there are other ways in which to approach this and to come to your reasoning uh, using uh, alternative methods. So I would also suggest uh, that you think out of the box in this week and allow uh, your week to be calmer than usual because you might find that more confusion, confusion prevails as the week goes along. So with that, I'm just going to leave you with this message. I hope that gives you the advice that you've come here for and that you need as you go along in this week. I hope it goes well for you and I'm wishing you all the best. Much love to you all and many blessings uh, as you go along in the week ahead. So for those of you who've chosen the Oleander Rose here, I told you it was a little bit more pink. I'm going to spread the cards out like this the best I can. And um, I'm going to make a selection uh, from these cards that are spread out here. So uh, I'm just going to feel what is the correct card for you. I'm just going to see what is the the best card for you here. And um, try to get this into the shot for you as well. <clears throat> so just bear with me here as I try to get this into the shot. And I'm feeling, what is the message that you've come here to hear this week? What is it that you need to hear as you come here? this week and it feels like it's this one mm. let's just see yes it is so it the card is beginnings and it says new moon and it also is the number two so I think in fact um, I've almost expected a card like this to come out in this reading today because as much as we are on the full moon, and by the time you would have gotten this uh, this video, we would have had a full moon and an eclipse. I would say that uh, here you, you, what we are in, we are in new beginnings. We are in an energy of new beginnings. There is a, a time here where you can walk through a kind of portal 
and find yourself on the other side and feel very happy for having done so feel re like rejoicing for having done so it's almost as if you are in a wintry space right now and that you could go through a space and you can come out the other side and it's springtime for you and I feel like the wintry space is that perhaps things have not been going so well for you or perhaps you've been in a bit of stress or anxiety about things in your life and this card is talking about how you can um, you know open a new path for yourself by closing a chapter of your life leaving it behind being committed to leaving that which is wintry behind you which is um and not necessarily the easiest path for you behind you. So for those of you who love winter, there's n nothing against winter here, but I'm just using it as an analogy. Um, because what I'm seeing is that there's a more joyous and an easier path for you that can be easily accessed right now. And it's almost as if this is a portal that's opened up for you because I feel like this hasn't always been there. This energy is not hasn't always been there. And so this time... As you go along, I would say the time between now and the new moon that's coming up, I would say in two weeks from now, is a time in which you can make something happen for yourself. So I would say if you're thinking of uh, moving homes or if you're thinking of, uh, of starting a new project, if you're thinking of starting a new course of study, if you're thinking of starting a new job, if you're thinking of leaving an old job and looking out for something new, and now is the time to do this. If you're thinking of introducing a new product into your business, now is a time to be able to take that gamble and to be able to do that. It's almost as if uh, the lottery is going to be in your favor at this moment. So I would say use this time. Use this time to your, to your advantage and seek out opportunities that you might have been um, keeping at the, at the side or you know, keeping on the back burner for a while, thinking that now is not the right time, or you don't necessarily have the funds available, or you just don't have the strength to to make it happen, or you just you're just not sure if you can actually make it happen. Well, now is the time to be able to just try and do that. Now, having said that, I wouldn't say that uh, it is necessarily a time for a big move, but it is the time in which you can seek out the place and and. Uh, uh, cast the first stone so to say it's like you could seek out a place and sign the lease for it or, or or sign sign something for it you can do the signatures now even though it might only come to fruition later on next year like in March or April or something like this um, I would say go ahead and, and try to make it happen even if it looks impossible try to make it happen because what you have right now is that you have this full moon energy uh, that's at the backdrop of, of that's helping you fostering uh, the movement forward and it's almost like pushing you forward and it's giving you that support to go ahead and I would say the number two is also important for you as you go along right now so if you um, if you seeing twos coming up uh, around the place then perhaps that is relevant for you a big change is relevant for you right now it's almost like you can tear away a reality that's been yours for a long long time and you can create a new one for yourself and it will be prosperous and you have nothing to fear uh, for doing that you can actually just go ahead and 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 make it happen for yourself the only advice I'd like to uh, give you here is to say that as you enter this new space as you get into this new energy as you accept this new energy into your life as you allow the space for this new energy to come into your life it's important to you recognize the energy that you've come from and to give thanks for that which you have already uh, received for the hardships even that you would have experienced for the lessons that you've learned for the the blessings that were in the past and in the now as you leave them behind to move on to greater blessings or, or other blessings, let's say, um, there feels it feels like there's need for this um, time to be a sacred time, for that which you leave behind to be acknowledged from a sacred point of view, and not just that you you know closing the door and in anger and rushing off and saying, okay, you know I've had enough of that and I'm not going to do it anymore, but rather that you you gently you know turn around, bow to what was and move on in your journey in peace and in tranquility and in grace 
And so I feel like grace is an important part of, of this as well. It's about being able to, to go forth and enjoy what is yours. Um, you need to ensure that you, you close the door behind you pretty, pretty good and you're at peace with yourself as you do that. And I think that would be the only bit of advice that I would give you here. So, um, yeah, with that, I think um, I would like to uh, leave you with this energy, with that, with that message from that energy. And I'm just trying to see if there's anything else here. Um, I just want to say, you know, it does really feel to me like this, um, this full moon that's behind you that's sitting behind you here is giving you the support that you need at this time it is actually uh standing over you watching you it feels like there's wisdom watching over you as well here and um there's a sense that whatever path you take right now it can't be wrong as long as you are committed to improving your life and to changing whatever it is that has been in the past that is debilitating you. So you can move ahead and uh, be thankful for that which you have. So I'm going to leave you with that and wish you all very well as you go along this week. Stay healthy, stay happy, stay safe, and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.